Back in the 1970s, many people thought that Prince Charles had a screw loose or was a bit of a crank because he was very much into nature and trees and all sorts of shrubs and plants and flowers. And one of the things that he said which caused a lot of amusement was the fact that he talked to the trees and he gave trees a hug. In hindsight today, I think many people believe that perhaps instead of being laughed at, Prince Charles should have been taken seriously because he's now being looked on as being someone as a visionary in declaring there would be a problem with global warming. Queen Elizabeth II gave Charles an Aston Martin DB6 Volante. This car ran on normal petrol. But Prince Charles, being very ecological, has had the engine rebuilt so that now it runs on biofuel. And during a recent interview, Charles said, well, my old Aston Martin, even that car runs on old wine and old cheese. That is what I use to fuel it with. When he was at school, Prince Charles learned several languages. Prince Charles got an A-level in French, he got a grade C, so he is able to converse in French. Prince Charles is also known to speak German. King Charles, as he is now, is also known to speak Welsh. He learned Welsh uh, early on in his life. As Prince of Wales, uh, it was more or less an obligation to do so. There was a revelation in the book that Harry wrote, Spare, that his father walks about with a teddy bear because he was so lacking in affection when he was young due to the absence of his mother and his father who were often away on long world trips that he still walks about carrying a teddy bear and almost sucking his thumb. Whether that's true or not, of course, nobody will know. a town that was built and designed by Charles because he wanted to construct an area where people could live in a friendly atmosphere, in traditional style houses, in an area of the United Kingdom which was protected against pollution, where he said, I don't want any skyscrapers, ugly buildings. <laughs> 